Hello everyone, Mad Gaming Guy here, and I am going to be showing a mod review here. And if you notice down at the bottom on my uh, on the infantry bar, you'll see that there's two extra slots, and that is part of this mod. I I'm going to be doing I'll do most things if in creative, but I've got all the crafting recipes next to me. And this is the um, battle gear mod for 1.2.5. And if you see here, look, these are the new items. That gets spawned in, so his chain as well. So basically, from that, from the music disc to the water bottle, is all new items that get put in. And I will start first. You need like a, quite a few uh, things to get this to work, but it's simple. It's all drag and drop into your Minecraft jar. Uh, let me just get a crafting table. Oh yeah, maybe true key. Yeah, because the infantry keys have swapped around. Oh, I just pressed the wrong one there. So let me put this down. And. The first item I'm going to show you is a is a war axe because that is the first one on the craft thing. Basically, so what you do is you get some wood, make some sticks, and then what you do is you put them like you're going to make a pickaxe or a sword. What should we make? We'll make a diamond one, shall we? Yeah, we'll make a diamond one. And like you're going to make a normal axe like that, but you get rid of this. Do you mind? Give, give me a minute. Die, mighty fiend! Show what? Actually, oh my god, I'm getting chased. Quick, create mode. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. We'll do this now. All right. So basically, like you're going to make any normal weapon, but instead of putting it like to make a normal axe, you go there, 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 and there, like that. And now you got a diamond war axe. And uh, the di the war axe, the diamond one, you the oh god, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. The war axe has a it according to this, it has a chance of doing critical like fifty percent chance of doing critical hits. So every time you hit someone, wait. Oh, oh, it's killed it. See that was a critical. The red spark is a critical hit. So I see look, critical. Oh. See you got more chance to do it on these little ones than it are the big ones. And if I press I, is it I? No, it's not. It's T. There we go. See, this is like um, the other infantry you get. So if you put this hit, actually no, no, I'll show you the other weapons first. We'll get back to this. We'll get back to it. Okay. Let me just show you again. See, look, it does it criticals normally. So you got quite a high chance. See, look, there was one there. There you go again. So that's fifty percent chance of getting critical hits. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the is the mace. To make a mace, it's simple. Like to make a wooden one, you just put one stick in the bottom left and make four corners. There we go. You got a club, and the wooden club. It has a stun chance of ten percent. So basically, it stops. So basically, like that. See, look, they get stunned and they're frozen. Again, there we go. <laughs> the damage is. Quite high. Obviously, look, it's knocking him out in one. It's got. It does two hearts of damage per like hit. So it's a pretty. It's an okay weapon. It's. Be, I reckon it's. I'd probably say it's better than a sword just because you get to stun enemies. Can I? I can't. I don't think I can. Oh, I did. There we go. <laughs> All right, let me go back over to the crafting table. Uh, and then obviously it progresses up and up. And uh, the one surprisingly, the one that does the most chance again, it is the gold one. But obviously the gold one lasts nothing compared to others. Um, I'm going to show you a quarter staff slash spear, as it is called. Uh, to do to get a quarter staff first, you uh, you just get three sticks and put them in a diagonal line. You make it a fish rod, and then you get a wooden quarter staff. And then you put any material you want on the end of it. So you could say put. Uh, Let's find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There is. You can put a bit of cobblestone, I believe. Oh no, it's one up. Stupid me. See, look. Then you got you got a stone spear, diamond spear. We'll make a diamond spear. And what the spear is is it, it doesn't do much damage. It still does two hearts, but the range you can hear is is much further. Let me get some mob eggs. What should we do? We'll spawn a uh, spider. We'll get spider eggs. Place a couple of them down. And as you see, I'm able to hit that one over there from a much greater distance. So look, that's at least like seven blocks, I'd say. So you've got no chance of getting really hit by anything. And creepers, it's so much better against creepers. Let me get this creeper one, actually. 
And creeper, 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 creeper. There we go. And I'll give it that. So if I put some creepers down. What are you doing? Do you mind? So if I go back here, see, look, look how far you can hit my way, and there's no chance of them getting next to you unless you stop and just let them come close. See, look, they d it takes five hits pretty much to kill with a diamond one. Uh. Ah, I've got an itch on my back. Hold on. And the next thing I'm going to show you is, let me just go to the second page. Obviously, we've done them. The chain. Chain. Like, obviously, look, if you go into the creative menu, it, see, look, you've got chain mail armor, but you can't create it in normal, obviously, in normal game, because you can't get chain. But what chain does, if I get some iron, uh, where is iron? There is. What you do is you just place it one in there, and see that you get two for every one, so you get sixteen. And then you li you literally craft it like normal armor. So if I want a pair of boots, oh, that's not boots. So you got a pair of boots, trousers, helmet. Just put a few more in, and I'll. Just make a chest plate. And there we go. And it literally works like any normal armor. Uh, no, what, oh, oh, yes, because I'm still in create mode. Oh, no, I'm going to get raped. That's why. Uh, damn you! <laughs> Kill the chicken. Let, let, me get, let me just fly out of here first. Let me go over here. Where I'm away from any form of animal. Do you actually? How much? Yeah, I'll do it here. Now if we go back out creative, see look, and then you can just plop it on. Got some checkiness going on there. Look at that. I am now checkered Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so let me just get another crafting table. And there we go. And place that down. And the next thing is shields. Yes, you can get shields. And they range obviously from wood to diamond. And go from well, you can even create level ones as well. But they all they have different crafting patterns after leather wooden one it's basically like a cross so it's kind of like so it's like there we go that's a wooden one and look you can put it onto your hat that's it look but basically i will just show you all the crafting recipes so if i get some leather where the hell is leather where are your leather i'm getting pushed on by a squishy thing oh there you are yeah so basically leather's the same deal there's another one, but now if we go, then the iron one is slightly different. The iron one is kind. Oh, do you mind? Go away, you giant piece of Junus! Ah! Oh, I can't wait to play Skyrim again. I'm just downloading it on Steam at the minute. But yeah, the iron one. It's kind of like you're making a, an upside down hat, so like that. So you like, like, you make a minecart and then you put one at the bottom, and there's an iron shield. You can't there one. There is something where you can put pictures on the shields, but I haven't got that because it's literally all about the mod. It's not decorative purposes. Dim diamond and gold are all in the same way. So upside down, minecart, one at the bottom, and there's your diamond shield. And now we'll get onto this one here. So obviously where I put the iron armor on, it goes there. But see, look, you can put a shield there, so it goes in your left hand, and you can put a war like any weapon in this one so like sword any normal weapon as well like diamond swords pickaxes and stuff and what this see if you press whatever key it's like you're going to controls you'll see r is mine and that switches it to the to the outer two blocks you see like that'll get highlighted and that little bar is blocking so if i spawn some spiders you have to keep going off it to use your normal infantry so if i provoke this spider and go to r you see that it does no damage so if I, see look, it does damage there, but look, if I hold my shield up, it does nothing. And that little bar is showing how much, um, like, what's it called? Um, what's it called? See, look, you can knock them back as well, but then it makes you have to put the shield down. So yeah, that's what, yeah, if I spawn a creeper, let me see what happens here. I'm going to have to be quick about this. We'll see what it does. See, look, look how much that saved me. It only even lost me three hearts, but even though I've got chain armor on, see. And look, if you if I go into F5 and I press R, you see he sheaths it, so it's all on his back. Let me take the armor off, so it's a little bit easier to see. You can see, look, he sheaths it, so it's all on his back. Until you press R again, it all comes back out. 
But the cool thing that you can do, which I find is actually awesome, is if you have, say, like two swords, because some items you cannot um, dual wield. So, like, say, if I go to here, you can't dual wield a spear with a war axe, but you can dual wield two swords. See, so look, like, you can dual wield a, <coughs> a war axe and a sword, and look, you like right, left click does the normal arm, and right click does that one. So it's kind of like um, the, sh the, sh uh, Zelda, the Zelda craft, or wherever it is. Let me go make these up. Shabam! Uh. See, look, I'm doing criticals. And they're all fully enchantable. Like, every item is, en is enchantable, so... It's a bonus with this mod as well, because that means you're not just having normal items, and you can also cross both... No, no, not this. With the sword, you can. No, I know. Right. If you... Right, I'm going to set it for daytime, actually. It'll set it for noon. And let me just create a craft... No, a thing. Let me just... Let me just create a little... So we'll say that is the thing. So we'll go here. Oh. Uh, create mode it is. <laughs> to prove that you can enchant it. Because I know some people will probably be like, No, no you can't. But still, you can. Oh. La, 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 la. And I believe you can use the war accent like you can with any other axe. Because I've broken books with it. So... Uh, crack and charm table, and charm table, and charm table. Where are you? There you are. Let's get rid of the. And obviously the shields have different powers compared to some. So if I go into here, and I right click. I believe you can do it with shields as well. Yeah, you can. So it's pretty much like a bit of armor. Fire protection four. Don't see why I've won that wooden club. Uh, smite five and knock back two. See, look, like, you can enchant it all. So basically, I've got to glow a bit of wood and. <laughs> And I believe that is everything. Yeah, obviously you can do that. Uh, let me get let me get another sword, 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 and I will show you. You can also put like pickaxes and stuff in there. See, look, I'm now dual wielding swords like I'm in Skyrim. Press R again. See, uh, see, I can cross both of them and be like, good day. <laughs> and if I go to the back again and I'll press R, it will sheath them. So you look pretty badass. Look at that. This would be this is great. Um, if this, is, I believe it works in my play. If it doesn't, then that's really annoying because that looks great. Look, you'd be like. How dare you come across my kingdom? I come as mighty. Let's go take out villager. <laughs> Three hits and he's down. I like how they bend as well. Uh, let me just check to see if there's nothing I've missed. Uh, done shields, done spears, done that. Ah, maces. I think I've done maces. Yeah, I did. Basically, like, they have a chance of uh, paralyzing your enemy. Pretty much. I believe that is everything, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this mod review. <laughs> Let me just sheath my weapon. <laughs> Got a glowing bit of wood. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this mod spotlight, guys. Don't forget to leave a lovely like and a lovely comment down below. And if you haven't already, come subscribe. I'll put there's a channel link always in the description to my channel. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and add my scope. They're also in down there. And I'll see you guys very soon. See you later.